I'm Congressman John Klein, and I'm pleased to be a part of the dialogue here at America Speaking Out. Republicans are listening to your ideas, and we're sharing a few of our own. There are two issues I hear about constantly when I'm home in Minnesota, jobs and health care, and I can tell you they have a lot to do with one another. Small businesses are the job-creating engine that powers our economy, and they are disproportionately affected by the ever-rising cost of health care. Unfortunately, the Democrats' new health care law, what you probably know as Obamacare, makes things worse for small businesses. Now, businesses, large and small, are required to pay a $2,000 penalty for each of their workers if they do not or simply cannot offer government-approved health insurance. Even if they offer coverage, employers will have to pay a $3,000 penalty for workers who decide to enroll in government-sponsored health care. Democrats included a few fig leaves for small businesses including an exemption for the smallest businesses with 50 or fewer employees, not counting some workers in the penalty calculation and providing a temporary tax credit. Unfortunately, these proposals will have the perverse consequence of penalizing small businesses for hiring new workers or giving their workers raises. Here's a better idea. Let's give small businesses the same purchasing power as large corporations and unions. By letting small businesses band together to purchase insurance across state lines and play by the same rules as the big guys, health care will be more affordable and small businesses will not be stifled in their effort to create jobs. What do you think? Should small businesses be allowed to join together to buy better, more affordable insurance for their workers? If we want to repeal Obamacare and replace it with better ideas, I think this is one you may want to consider.